Las Vegas is a very famous place, but its most famous part is called the Las Vegas Strip. It's quite a large city in the middle of the desert. The Strip is actually only a small part of Las Vegas. It's one street with all the most famous hotels and casinos in the world. So let's start with the Mandalay Bay because this hotel is the last hotel of the Strip. And if I take you facing this way, you can see there isn't anything else. So let's start at the Mandalay Bay. Here's the Mandalay Bay. It's the closest hotel along with the Delano to the Allegiant Stadium. And you can clearly see it's an easy walk. Next, we have the Luxor. Luxor is a gigantic pyramid Egypt theme hotel and it's very close. They're actually connected you can see here there's a shuttle you can see here is a monorail and then it reaches all the way to the Excalibur which is one of the largest hotels in the world along with the MGM Grand here that they both have over 4,000 rooms. So let's recap. Mandalay Bay, Luxor, over here is the Tropicana, then we have the Excalibur, and we have the MGM Grand, and we have the New York, New York Hotel right over here. And these are all connected with a walkway. You can see, if I zoom in down here, you can see this is how you cross Las Vegas Boulevard. And it's very nice at night. This area is very safe, great to walk around with kids. And you can walk across the street this way as well. And here we have many stores. You see the Coca-Cola store. You see there's a Ross here. There's also a Marshall's down here, the M&M store, a big Skechers. This is a up-to-date mapping. Um, I was just on the strip and I'm just going back to the strip now so I can confirm these stores still exist. Here's the Park MGM. It's also a very renovated hotel. It used to be the um, uh, previously known as the Monte Carlo. Now it's known as the Park MGM. So Park MGM also has its own shuttle, so it starts at the Park MGM, which is over here, and it goes right through the Aria, which is another hotel here, a really nice one, and it goes straight through, there's one stop in the Aria and the shops at the, actually this is a mall here, this one is called the Shops at Crystals, it's a high-end mall, and then here we have the Cosmopolitan, look at how nice that looks, imagine having these balcony suites here, I've never stayed there, but... It always looks great when people make videos. And here we have the Bellagio Fountains. So we're already in the mid strip. Let me let me zoom out a little bit so you can see some of the hotels on this side. Um, here is the Planet Hollywood and we have the Paris Hotel here. Um, I'm going to backtrack just a little bit so you can see uh, this is where the Horseshoe uh, Casino is. It used to be Bally's. Um, I don't know if the map is displaying that yet, um, but it's right here after the MGM. So let's keep going down. Um, we started on the south of the strip. Now we're in the middle of the strip. So here's really where all most of the action is. Um, underneath the uh, Planet Hollywood, this one here is a really large complex. It's a, actually a mile to walk through. It's called the Miracle Mile. And there's lots of shops in there. Really good, uh, cheap eats. And oh, look, you can see the pool and everything. This is just a great 3D map. Um, but yeah, this is a great area to walk in as well. And as I mentioned, you can shuttle in from the south side of the strip. So now we're going to keep going. So this video doesn't get too long. I'm going to keep going here. And let's see um, over here. We have the Caesars Palace. So this is a gigantic complex as well. Um, those of you that have been here know how big this Caesars Palace is. Even walking from um, the Las Vegas Boulevard here just to get to the shops back here. It's quite a walk. Um, but it's really great uh, to see. And um, so we just passed the Bellagio and the fountains. It's right behind where I am here. And here we have the Mirage. So this is still Las Vegas Boulevard here. I'm going to turn you this way a little bit so you can see. Um, we have the Harrah's Casino. This is, uh, the slot machines right on the strip here. For the other hotels, you kind of have to walk a lot. So this is a really great walking area. This area um, where the Venetian is and the Harrah's, this is very close to the Link which is the giant Ferris wheel. You can see it right here. So here's the entrance to the link. And there's always these uh, Vegas performers just standing here. And this is a really nice walk at night. And it's really safe too. So this is another great area to walk in 
with the family. And I've never been on the high roller, but I heard it's good uh, right at dusk when the sun is starting to set. Okay, let's continue moving on. Here's the Venetian high-end hotel. They have all the famous canals here and the canal shops. It's really nice. Treasure Island, also um, not a, a really high-end hotel, but people really like that place. Um, I think the slot machines are good here. As you can see, it's called the Mirage. Uh, well, actually, this one is the Mirage. I'm going to turn here around so you can see the Mirage that's behind me here where the Beatles um, love uh, Cirque du Soleil is performing. And then getting back to the strip again, we have um, both of the winds here um, and the mall. So this mall is the fashion show mall. It's not very nice. I don't recommend it. There's a few small places to eat, but unless you're staying right here, I wouldn't make that a destination. This uh, win, uh, these are some of the nicer hotels. I stayed at the Encore just a couple weeks ago. Really great. Everything is quite expensive around here. So this is really not a budget area. Um, but both these hotels are really nice and they're connected with uh, some really high-end shops inside. Now, as far as walking the strip right here, I don't recommend that. The, this area, I didn't find it to be safe. It, it, as you can see, this area is under construction. There's, there's homeless people walking around and at night there aren't any lights right here. So I don't recommend it, especially walking down this way. You really start getting to the area that I don't recommend I'm going to so the resorts world I know that's the newest hotel and it's supposedly really nice in there but I mean I've been in there but it, I know it's a nice hotel I just it's not a great place to walk so if you're staying there I would just stay inside um, so as you can see here if we if you just walk out of the Encore just up uh, towards the north part of Las Vegas it's towards these last hotels here there's Circus Circus but look at just look at this walk here I mean it's kind of abandoned. Some of these stores are closed down. There's a Denny's. It's all right, but lots of parking areas, big open spaces. There, are, there isn't any security over here. I've felt quite uncomfortable walking here or just waiting for the bus on one of these bus stops. I, I didn't like it, so I don't recommend it. Avoid it if you can. And now that the weather's getting so hot, it's just try to avoid too much walking anyway or being outdoors. So here's the Circus Circus. I passed by there the other day. I made a video on this. Uh, just the update on what it looks like inside so you can check that out on my channel and um and so anyway here it is i also i wouldn't recommend walking around here either but if you're staying in here it's just fine it's completely safe to be inside um, they're building a nice uh, hotel here i don't think they're finished it's a uh, fountain blue i think they have one of those in miami but um so anyway uh, let's keep going and um here i i've always heard that this area of the strip is just not nice at all this one is where the stratosphere is so this is a hotel that's, you know, middle of the road and it's on the older side, but you're already really far out of the strip here with the Sahara. I've stayed there about 10 or 15 years ago and I found it quite a walk just to get to anywhere. So, so yeah, so there, there you go. That's what the map looks like. And if you're wondering where downtown Vegas is, we just have to keep going this way. And you see where it says a Fremont street. Let's see how close I can take you. Um, so it's not a walk. You can continue taking that main bus, but check it out. I'm going to turn this way. Yeah, here's a good view. You can see this is the Fremont experience right here. Just going in through here, this whole ceiling lights up and here's where the Golden Nugget um, Hotel is. So it's definitely worth checking this out here, but I would recommend um, probably taking an Uber. Um, I mean, definitely not walking, but I, I wouldn't even recommend the bus either. Just take an Uber and it's worth it. Just spend a few hours out here. It'd be a good time. So I recommend it. Anyway, that's my video, and thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.